name is Sanjay Maniktala. For those of you who may not know me, uh, as you can quickly tell from my accent, this is not a fake accent, all right? This is not from Wipro, all right? <laughs> I promise you, it is real, all right? I'll explain. I was born somewhere very far away, halfway around the earth, uh, Electronic City, all right? <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I just came back uh, from uh, the U.S., right? Like, when I went to the U.S., this girl asked me, oh, you're living in India, that's so cool. Uh, what do you do there? I said, yeah, I'm doing stand-up comedy. I'm, you know, playing around with YouTube. She's like, oh, wow, they have YouTube in India? <laughs> I was like, yes, they do. <laughs> What's it called? YouTube. <laughs> it's the same thing. Relax, man. So we were flying, and we were landing in Bangalore. And I had taken my cell phone out to Doc, all right? And the, you know, the lady next to me said, oh my God, why is your phone out? The plane could crash. <laughs> and I was like, lady, calm down. But then I realized why this woman thought my phone could cause a crash. It was a Windows phone. <laughs> this lady was very smart, all right? Very smart. And I was reading about this new Airbus A380. This airplane, you guys have heard of that? The Jumbo Jet Siddharth, yes, you know. And uh, apparently this airplane, it's controlled by computer, all right? And I think that's gotta be really weird because if it is a Microsoft computer, <laughs> I would be a little worried, right? Because could you imagine if the pilot came on the intercom and said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please give us one minute. We are just going to reset the aircraft. One second. <laughs> You're like, I don't... Ah, oh, but it's great, though. I love Bangalore. I mean, Bangalore is now turning into my home. Uh, you know, it's weird, though. Bangalore is IT city. You know, a lot of people are engineers. And the problem us Indian folks have when we travel to the UK or the US, everybody assumes that that we are IT engineers. My boss in the US would come up to me and say, hey, Sanjay, Sanjay, question. I know you work in accounting, but uh, the internet is not working over here. <laughs> Something here is IP. IP is Indian problem, right? <laughs> Can you fix it for me, please? And you know, he never did that with anybody else. He never went up to the Mexican guy at my office. Hi, Jose, Jose, listen. I know you work in human resources, but uh, the grass is getting very long outside. <laughs> Miss, are you married in the black? Yes, this is the husband, I presume? Yes, uh, how did he ask you to marry him? <laughs> huh? It was an arranged marriage. Okay, sir, how did your father ask her to marry you, sir? <laughs> how did it happen? The reason I'm asking is I realized 2014 an arranged marriage is a completely different ball game, right? It's not mom and dad's arranged marriage. I asked my brother, I said, hey, dude, how is it going? He's like, dude, really good? Really good. I'm very close to finalizing the girl. I said, bro, are you buying a vehicle? <laughs> what do you mean finalizing the girl, right? But that's when I realized these days, 2014, looking for a wife or a husband is very similar to shopping for a car. Different shape, different colors, right? <laughs> Imports, locals, whatever, right? Because could you guys imagine if Shadi.com had a showroom on MG Road? <laughs> where you could just walk in and just look at all the products, right? You know the women would walk in. There'll be a receptionist at the front. Hello, madam. Thank you for coming to the Shadi.com showroom. We have a big sale on the IT engineers right over here. <laughs> All right. They come in light brown wheatish and medium wheatish. Okay. And uh, these guys are normal. These guys went to America for two days. Now they have a weird accent. <laughs> They're on discount. All right. Then, of course, us men, Sadat, you and I, we are going in together, right? We are going in. We would go in, Sadat and I, but it would be a very short visit. Hi, boys. Thank you for coming to the Shadi.com show. No, no, boys. We don't do test drive here. No. <laughs> I am sorry. You need to go to second Shadi.com for that one. That's not how that works, man. That is not how that works. And uh, 
I, I'm not very political. I know a lot of comics talk about politics. I don't. But how many of you guys have heard of this guy? He's kind of famous, kind of not. Barack Obama? <laughs> yes, yes, we've all heard. You know, I remember when Barack Obama won the election. You know, we just had an election here. I remember when he won it many years ago, the first time. It was a great moment in America, all right? And the, I was flying on an airplane, and a pilot told us about the election. And he came on the intercom and said, ladies and gentlemen, we've just been informed that Barack Obama has been elected president of the United States. And me and the three guys around me, we all looked at the one black guy on the plane, and we just went, And I don't know why we did that, what came over us, but a couple of months later, I knew exactly what that had felt like. Because I had walked into my office in America the day after Slumdog Millionaire had won the Oscars. <laughs> and all my colleagues, Jai Ho! Jai Ho, yeah! Oh, we love Anil Kapoor, all right? We love Anil Kapoor. I have a maid uh, in Bangalore. And I knew my maid was from Bangalore the very first day she started working because she asked me if she could work from home. <laughs> I was like, wow, you're good. I was like, you are very good. And uh, do any bachelors here have a maid? Raise your hand. Any bachelors here with a maid? Okay, sir in the white, good looking gentleman. How much you pay your maid? Two grand. Okay, okay, that's normal. Yes, I assume, right? Does your maid, though, even for two grand, sometimes skip a day of work? She does, right? You know, when my, it's weird when you're a bachelor because your maid, you know, there's no, like, you know, other person in the house to really be strict, right? Like, when my maid skips a day of work or two days of work, when she does come back, I turn into a jealous girlfriend, right? She'll walk in all happy after three days. Hi, Baya. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> you don't call me, you don't SMS me. What's going on, Parvati? <laughs> Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? <laughs> it's crazy, man. They take so much advantage. They say so much advantage. But Indian mothers are fantastic, you know, because I used to work in a techie company, and Indian mothers, like, no matter how busy our lives get in IT, in finance, you know, as college students, your Indian mother makes life so simple. So simple. My mom will call me after the worst day, and she'll say, Hi, beta. How was your day? I'll say, Oh, mom, it was terrible. It was terrible. You know, the database server at work went down the venture capitalist investment banker not giving us the funding we need. My girlfriend is cheating on me. I might get fired. It's the worst day of my life, mom. Oh, what did you eat? <laughs> what did you eat, right? Because that's all Indian mothers care about, right? That's the only thing. So I get so angry at my mom, right? You guys feel free to try this. I get so angry at my mom, right? I'll say, actually, mom, you know what? I already ate. Oh, where did you eat, beta? I ate at Chachi's house, mom. And she made some dal. And it was better than your dal. <laughs> oh my god, beta, stop, stop, stop. And you know what she called it, mom? What, what did she call it? She called it Maki dal. <laughs> Gentlemen, you don't believe me? Try this with your girlfriend, your wife, whoever, right? You're like, hey, sweetie, let me take a picture of you. And they always act like they don't want the picture, right? Hey, sweetie, let me take a picture of you. No, yeah. No picture. No picture. Are they? <laughs>